What's up loves? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Maya if this is your very first time here. So today y'all we're doing kind of like a little get ready with me for brunch or Sunday fun day or whatever may you. I'm gonna show you guys typically the look or what I go for when I am doing like brunch or going out on a Sunday. And uh, we are doing two different outfits today because the sister can't decide. I feel like y'all can feel me on it. <laughs> so <laughs> we also are doing this in mostly natural light. My light is a little up right now. Actually you know what let's turn it down a little bit. Yeah, natural. <laughs> but I wanted you guys to really see like the makeup and the skin, how we're gonna be looking outside, not just in my studio lighting. So before we hop into it, please make sure that you hit subscribe below if you have not yet, so that you are updated when new videos come out. Also make sure that you hit that notification bell as well, so that you are updated when new videos go up. All right loves, let's hop into this tutorial and outfit try on session. <laughs> What's up my loves? So we have a little change of scenery today. I just felt like, you know, being in my home instead of my studio. Cause you know, sometimes I don't wanna overkill it with the same little same old, little same old, you know what I'm saying? So, oh, I need to go flatten this. Un, mm, I'll be back. Okay, that's better. <laughs> but um, if you guys are seeing this on the day it comes out, it is the 4th of July. So happy holiday to everybody who actually celebrates the 4th of July. We not gonna get into nothing political, but happy holiday. <laughs> the great thing is we're off. So, you know, can't complain about that, right? I am using my Goof Proof pencil from Benefit. I think I might go into my, my Cabral as well today just to get a little bit more definition on my brows. But I just wanted to do a cute little brunch video for you guys, like showing you guys um, like one of the go-to like makeup combinations and products that I use when I do go to brunch and just kind of how I be wanting to look in when I do brunch dates. It's summertime, we outside, you know, people getting vaccinated, people, look, less people are wearing their mask, <laughs> so. I felt like it was the perfect video to do around this time because we're going to brunch. We going to sitting outside and I'm not sure if I'm going to brunch today. I would like to, but I had two outfits in mind. So I think we are going to actually do two outfits today. The ones that I'm like deciding between what I'm going to wear today. So by the way, it is Sunday. It is actually the 4th of July today. So <laughs> this is not a pre filmed video. This is actually what I'm going to be looking like today. So it's kind of like a little brunch holiday get ready with me let's say that so I guess we could leave the brows like this I just kind of want to go a little bit into my cabral just to see if it can really give us some more definition let's zoom in y'all because sometimes when you go in with a pomade after you have um gone in with like a pencil it just kind of gives you a little bit more do y'all see the extra definition we just added on this brow just with the Pomade, and you guys know I use number six in Benefit, which is I think their deepest shade. Anyway, sis, this is this is the brows today. This is the brows. I feel like this pomade just adds that extra like fluffy hair look to it. Like that pencil is more of a blending situation, and the pomade adds a little fluff. You know, I don't know, y'all. Maybe it's just me talking. Ooh, whatever. Um. Anyway, guys. We are kind of filming in natural light. I only have my um, ring light on just a little bit because let me see, I'm gonna turn my ring light off. This is completely natural lighting, but I wanted just a little more light. So um, I just kind of wanted you guys to see the skin, how everything blended out since, you know, brunch. We ain't sitting in front of no studio light, you know. We wanna make sure everything is looking how we want it to look. I'm gonna go ahead and sculpt out my brows with my NARS, what I always usually do. And then we gonna get to this face. And so many of you guys have been asking me about this brush. This is the Max Coverage Concealer Brush from Bare Minerals. And this is the brush that I have been using for my brows lately, ever since I stopped using the Colored Rain Eyeshadow Brush, which is similar to this one, except it's much smaller. I just like the big paddle brush better now because it helps me to really blend that concealer down and out, especially when I'm just doing my brows and not my face. We need that color to be blended. I feel like I'm gonna be outside all day, so we definitely wanna make sure we have our SPF. I'm gonna use this Milk, milk Primer from Beekman 1802. This is a SPF 35 sunscreen primer. And I'm just gonna rub this into my skin. Obviously my skincare was already done, girl. Let me take this ring off, cause I definitely just scratched my face. 
wait. Ain't nobody got time for that. This primer, which is available at Ulta Beauty, does kind of give you a little, little smidgen of a white cast, so I would not recommend using this by itself. Um, the Laura Mercier one that I usually use with SPF in it, SPF 30 is in this one, it never gives me a white cast. This one does a, a smidge, but once I get all my makeup and everything on, you cannot see it, so. Cause y'all, do you see, it's, it's a little white. It's a little white, it's a little white. I have been loving this BB Fresh Dream Cream from Maybelline, y'all. Um, I did put on Instagram that I have been, for my vacation, I have been wearing this and I absolutely have been loving this BB cream, y'all. I've been loving it. I'm gonna go ahead and blend this out with the Sigma Multitasker brush. I've been loving this um, BB cream because it just gives me a very natural look and I feel like the MAC is perfect for me but it gives me a very light, exactly what it is, a light sheer tint. The shade I use is 140 deep sheer tint. It's a lighter coverage type of situation. I would have to say this has been my favorite like go-to skin complexion product this summer. This is my second bottle that I've <laughs> gotten to since May. She gives coverage, but it's still very skin-like. It's not super, super full coverage. You guys know, let's zoom in. I do have a few moles right here, and I like that it doesn't cover up my moles. Now, I gotta be careful, because then I put concealer over it, then I do cover up my moles. But I like that my moles show through, but I still cover up that redness that likes to sit underneath my nose. So for a concealer all the way around, I'm actually gonna use my Clinique Even Better All Over Concealer. This shade is in Truffle. And I'm just gonna add a little bit of this where I want it to be just to create a little bit of a darker, you know, perimeter for us. And to accent the cheekbones. And I'm just gonna go in circular motions and blend this out. This brush is from Nabla. This is their foundation buffer brush. And I'm just kind of using this to blend this shade out and kind of create that deeper, Con not contour, but a deeper little, you know, shade there to add just dimension to the face. Cause you can either use circular motions or you can blend it downwards like that. I feel like blending downwards like that kind of gives you a better blend without having to go back and forth. And you see how this one looking a little, huh. this one is looking more. <laughs> so I definitely would recommend doing that because with this one, I am gonna go have to go back with like the butt of my beauty blender and just kind of blot. I can either do that or I can take the brush that I use for that Maybelline BB cream and kind of diffuse that shade. I'm also doing the same down here because I brought it down a little low. So I'm using that BB cream underneath that's already on the brush kind of, you know, lift that up a little bit because I feel like it got too low. Let me know if you guys like the fact that we're using more of a natural light today, not super, super studio lights. I'm gonna do a little nose action with that same concealer and definitely bring it all the way down from the top of my brow and start to blend it out. And I do blend out my nose with like a blending, like a eyeshadow blending brush. This is like kind of a flat eyeshadow blending brush just to really blend that in. So guys, I actually just started using the um, camo, hydrating camo concealer from e.l.f. I'm gonna actually layer this on top of the concealer I'm about to use. Um, I am gonna continue with the Clinique even better and this shade is in Mocha. And I'm gonna go in a little bit with the mocha and I'm gonna layer the e.l.f. concealer over it. But I do want this one to be like my base. And then I wanna go in a little bit lighter with the camo because the shade that I have in the camo concealer is tan and neutral and it's a smidge light. <laughs> but for me, I like it, you know, cause y'all know I love to go in with two different concealer shades to really get that light look. I love these Clinique concealers. I love these because I feel like they are light, you know, if you're going for more of a lighter vibe, lighter coverage meaning. All of those kind of give that same skin vibe. Okay, sis. Okay. 
I like it. Now, before I even think about setting, obviously my nose kind of went a little bit out of whack with that. So I'm not taking extra product, but I am gonna take the brush that I used to contour that nose and kind of make sure that I didn't lose that deeper shade around it and kind of create that shape again. So before we keep going, I just want to give you guys a close up of how the skin is looking. I'm actually gonna turn the light off so you guys can completely see how it looks. And this is before setting. How we looking, y'all? That's how we looking. So I do want to add a blush before we set. I'm gonna add this Milani Cheek Kiss blush, and this is an Eye Cherry issue. And I'm just gonna take like an angled type of blush. This one is actually from Pract, which is a sister brand of Sigma. It's a bronzer contour brush, and I'm just gonna dip into this, and I'm going to start to just move it around on the cheeks. Just add a little bit of color. And when I add my blush, I bring it up kind of where my bronzer or my contour is, but right above it. So if you kind of go in the circle, your face gets real short. And even if you have a long face, sometimes we don't want our face to look super short. So bringing it up kind of still gives you that type of look. Um, I'm gonna use my normal my normal uh, powder. Mm. Y'all know I don't, need, I don't need, need to mention it because y'all already know what it is. But if you knew, it's Laura Mercier translucent. Dip into my powder, put it on the back of my hand, and push this powder into my light, lighter, more highlighted concealer, concealed areas. I stay with this light powder on my chin, above my nose, down my nose, and a little bit above the forehead, just so I can keep those highlighted areas nice and highlighted. Y'all, they popping firecrackers early, girl. It's early. And then I'm taking my minted medium deep powder and I'm gonna use that to set the rest of my face with a big fluffier brush. I'm gonna tap it off and I'm just gonna start to push it into my skin. So my eyes are lightly, nicely primed with concealer. Um, I wanna do like a, Let's just do it. I'm just not even gonna talk about it. We just gonna do it. So I got this palette. I don't know if I wanna use this palette though. I got this 1971, the Unity Collection from Morphe palette and I kinda wanna use it. It is in collaboration with Coca-Cola and I think um, I haven't used it, it's been sitting so I kinda wanted to use it today. I'm gonna set my eyes. Usually when I set my eye, that mattes really perform a lot better. They blend a lot better. They don't like bleed into the wetness of the concealer that changes the shade. Now, eyeshadow. Um, I'm gonna go into the shade Warm Fuzzies. I think this is the shade I wanna do right here. And I am essentially, y'all, going to, mm, this brush is too big, hold up. I wanna create kind of like a faux cut crease today. So I'm going in with this lightly and dusting it over kind of where my, you can kind of feel where your eyeball is up there. I like that look of like, like you have that, those deep set eyes. Oh, I love that. My sister has deep set eyes and that is like one of the ugh, most beautiful things ever. So I'm kind of, kind of, I'm looking down, I'm kind of following where my ball is, my ball, my eyeball. And I want to kind of bring this outwards y'all. So kind of like that. I'm not bringing it all the way down here as I usually do. I'm kind of just bringing it over and bringing it out. I'm gonna go ahead and do that on the other side as well. The next thing I'm gonna do is reinforce the lighter shade on the lid. So I'm gonna go into That's the Spirit and I'm going to just start to pat this onto my lid. I can pat it and I can wipe it but I really want to just reinforce that kind of faux cut crease type of situation. So I'm gonna bring this all the way over and kind of go outwards with it. That way this is giving us kind of like a neutral faux cut crease type of situation, but also it's kind of like winged out with the eyeshadow. Then I'm gonna go back into the one that I use for this crease color and I'm just gonna blend that because I don't like how, you see how that looks? I want it to be more Blendy. Now, last but not least, um, I think I feel like I used the perfect brush for this. This is the Expert Shadow and Liner Brush from Bare Minerals, and it has that flat, fluffy side on one side and then a liner brush on the other side. So, I'm actually gonna take the liner side and I'm gonna go into Commercial Break and mix it with the one down here too. And we are gonna do like a little wing on the end, but we're going to smudge it out. Cause the point is I wanted these eyes to go like, like that. Y'all, excuse the lighting. It's changing because I'm in front of the window. So just, y'all, verbal with a sister. But I also did not want this 
wing to be super, super harsh, like a black liner type of situation. I wanted it to be nice and soft, which is why I wanted to use eyeshadow. I'm also gonna bring this at the bottom as well, just a little bit on the corner. I'm gonna use like a little pencil brush and I'm going to just smudge over this shadow just to make it a little softer and less like pointy. So we essentially just added a little drama to the eyes. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and hit it with some mascara. This is my Kush Mascara from Milk. And then I'm gonna pop on some lashes. And the lashes we're using today are from INV 3D Collection and these are in Natural 3D 09. And I'm loving how these look on my eyes with this look. So now y'all, I'm gonna go in a little bit with some bronzer. I'm gonna use my Fenty Beauty, my Fenty Beauty bronzer. And you guys know I use the shade Coco Naughty and I'm just going to kind of reinforce the deeper shade that is surrounding my face. Kind of give us a little bit of, you know, pick me up with that because we lost it a little bit, but doing that concealer first and then going in with this gives it that staying power. So also reinforcing our nose a little bit as well with this. Now, usually if I'm like this and I'm doing like the more natural skin look, if I want a little bit of more coverage, y'all, I will go in with my Fenty Beauty Powder Foundation just to kind of cover things up, give me a little bit more coverage where I feel like I need it and or want it. And it can help color correct as well. If you feel like you went a little too crazy with the concealer or the contour, <laughs> just dusting over with this can really just bring you a bag as long as you have the right shade. And that's a little trick that I've been noticing and I had tried it one day and I was like, period. So I'm gonna spray my face before we go into lips. This is the Minted Better Setter Vitamin C and E Setting Spray. And I'm gonna set my face with this. And I didn't even add no highlight and I just set my face, girl, what? I've been loving this Material Girl Baked Mineral Highlighter from Il Maquillage. This is what it looks like. I'm gonna take a little bit of this and add it to the tops of my cheeks. Yes, girl, I love this baked highlighter. And I'm gonna keep this on the cheeks, down the nose, cubic bow, my regular places where I highlight. Nothing new there. And a smidge in my inner corners, and I like to take a little pencil brush to do that. But I love this gold. I feel like it really complements my skin. Lastly, the lip I wanna use Ofra today. I'm gonna use my chestnut liner. I'm gonna go ahead and line my lips with this, which is one of my most favorite liners. Actually, this combination is one of my most favorite combinations. The lip gloss I'm going to is from Ofra as well, and this is in the shade Bare. If I wanted to, I can go into something lighter than this, but I really like this shade itself. And this is our look, y'all. I'm gonna zoom in so y'all can see what we looking like, and we are gonna hop to the clothes. I'm also gonna show you guys in super natural light as well, so you can see how we gonna look outside. Okay, so first, a couple of disclaimers about this outfit. Number one, I'm feeling real hoochie fine. You know what I'm saying? This ain't it. So I do wanna add a blazer over this. This top is from Fashion Nova. It actually is a set. It comes with this asymmetrical skirt, which is real cute. I'm sure y'all gonna see that this summer, because I'm definitely planning another vacation and a solo trip while Amir's gone. <laughs> but the shorts, yes, they're short, which is another reason why I want to throw on um, a jacket with it. I definitely have BBL issues, because I need to get these altered um, in the back. It's a problem. I feel like when you're dressing for brunch or summertime in general, you wanna keep it classy, but you also wanna, you know, dress for the weather. So <laughs> I would throw a blazer on this, and this is from Zara. And the only reason I'm thinking about wearing this outfit is because the jacket does cover up the hoochiness of it, and it also gives me, you know, covers up this problem in the back as well. The shoes are from Ego, and I absolutely love these shoes. I think they're super, super cute. I didn't know how I was gonna feel about the little, triangle heel thing, but they're definitely comfortable. <laughs> I probably should get a bag too. Hold up, y'all. Let me grab a bag. So I really like this outfit with this bag, and this is from J Lux Label, just to match the white. And I think this is really, really cute. Okay, y'all, so for the second outfit, we have on the same shoes, so same thing. We did this top, which is from Zara. And I actually have on my Savage X Fenty bra that you like clip in the front with this because anything else that had like big cups or like real like padded, you know, that would look crazy with this. I'm still even trying to figure it out <laughs> with this bra, with this shirt. But regardless, I really like this. I like how it curves to my body. The skirt is from Fashion Nova, so it's just a regular white bodycon skirt. But what I like about pairing the skirt with the top is I feel like the top adds 
a little bit more conservativeness to the outfit <laughs> yes it's tight it's summertime it's hot it's short so we i'm not trying to die <laughs> but i do like pairing these two together because i like how this contours my waist and it's tight around my waist and the skirt is also tight around my waist so i like how it you know makes the body look <laughs> i like also that you have an option to pin this you know all the way up or right here depending on how much cleavage you like to show or don't like to show i like to keep it nice and open sis a little bit um i paired this with my michael kors bag this is a michael kors like cute little bag because i feel like the colors obviously are exactly on point <laughs> yeah y'all this is the second outfit that i'm deciding and i don't really know which one i want to do but we gonna see all right y'all i actually almost forgot to film an outro <laughs> Anyway, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I feel like it was more of a chill, kind of get ready with me for Sunday fun day type of situation. I hope you guys liked it. Um, let me know in the comments which outfit y'all like the most. And we gonna see what we gonna wear today. <laughs> I asked, I am actually gonna pick one of these and go out and take some pictures real quick so I can post on Instagram today as well. So you guys are getting content in real time today. <laughs> I hope you guys like this video. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up. Comment below, let me know what you thought. Also make sure that you hit subscribe below if you have not yet. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.